Hey guys, it's Moonsault Stables. In today's video, I wanted to show you guys a part of my micro resin collection. I have painted several pieces over the years, so I wanted to split this into two separate videos. So in this first video, I'm going to show some of the very first micros I ever painted. These are all Maggie Bennett sculptures from her monthly micro mini club, and I painted them all using hand-painted acrylics in 2017. They are definitely not perfect by any means, but I thought it would be fun to show them off to you guys. First up, we have the very first resin I ever painted. This is all dolled up and she is a jewel resin. She was the first micro I ever received from Maggie Bennett's club, so she was an obvious choice for my very first painted resin. I painted her in hand painted acrylics to a black and white Irish cob. The color itself was fairly simple, but I wanted to go for kind of a more intricate pattern on this just to see the level of detail I could get. I would love to go back and repaint her mane and tail because as you can see they're not perfect. I haven't quite mastered that blending with the colors on manes and tails but overall I was really happy with how she turned out especially for my very first micro resin. And up next, we have Sleepy Hollow. She is a Devil's Advocate resin painted to a Gruya color. This color was a huge challenge for me, especially with acrylics. I would love to go back and revisit this color at some point. I do genuinely love this color on real horses and on models but it's one that's so hard to master when painting. So it's one that I definitely want to go back and revisit now that I paint using more pastels. I would love to visit this color again, see if I can get this just a little bit better. And of course, get the color with just a little bit better prep work as well. As you can see, especially in this girl, my prep work wasn't quite the best in 2017. So it's good that I have definitely improved since then. My next model is a Cricket that I painted to a dark blue roan. His show name is Night Visions. This was another challenging color to achieve, especially with acrylics. As you can see, the color came out quite a bit darker and a little bit more blue than I was anticipating, which was fun because there's not a single ounce of blue in his paint, but it came out looking a lot more blue than anticipated even for a blue roan. Unfortunately, the color doesn't show up well on camera, but that's all right. I do absolutely love roans though, and I do keep meaning to paint more. I have painted one roan since this one, but I definitely want to paint more because it's such a gorgeous color that has so much variation in it. The next micro I painted is a ground effects that I painted to a Silver Bay Blanket Appaloosa Sport Horse. That is a mouthful. I really tried to go way out of my comfort zone when I painted these models, hence all of these kind of crazy colors and patterns, especially for acrylics. These were a little bit difficult to achieve, but it was a fun challenge all the same. And this girl's show name is Untouched Talent, and I am honestly so proud of her base more than anything else, more than even just her color itself. The base is something I am so proud of. <laughs> the workmanship on her Appaloosa spots isn't really perfect, but she did still make for a really great learning experience. And just like a lot of these colors, I hope to be able to revisit an Appaloosa. I haven't painted an Appaloosa since her, so I'm hoping to paint another one. I have one in the works right now that I'm hoping works out okay, so. We'll see how that goes, and I'm excited to show you guys once I finish it. And up next is Bedazzle My Face, who is a micro Kahlua painted to a chestnut with Manchado markings. I had a ton of fun researching these markings, and I wanted to find an excuse to be able to put them on a model because they are so different. They're so rare to find in the real horse world, let alone the model horse world. 
so I thought it would be kind of fun to be able to put them on a model. Granted, they didn't turn out the way I had hoped. They looked a little bit like a weird combination of funky Pinto markings and Appaloosa markings, but that was totally okay. Don't ever be afraid to take risks and make mistakes when you're painting, especially when you're just starting or you are trying to paint these crazy colors. Don't be afraid to take these weird risks, even if you end up with funky markings like this girl. <laughs> And finally, we have my mare and foal set, Bambi and Thumper. The mare is Playful Banter and the foal is Oakleaf. Also, can I just say that I really want more micro foals because they are so cute and tiny and I adore them and this is my only micro foal. So hoping I'll be able to get more in the future, but we'll see. Anyways, I decided to paint these guys up as American Cream Drafts. A light colors have always been definitely a bit of a challenge for me and you can really see their prepping flaws as I said before these uh, 2017 models don't have the best prep work um, I kind of just went over them once primed them and said okay we're done I do realize now that you need to go a lot more into the prep work on them so seeing these lighter colors especially you can really see those prepping flaws but that is totally fine i still love them i still love having them even if they're not necessarily going to be super competitive in the show ring and so yeah there are all of my hand painted acrylic micros they have all placed at various live and photo shows so I'm still super proud of them, even despite their painting and prepping flaws. I have sold a few that you don't see here and that I've never shown, but I do love to keep these ones in particular as a great reminder of where my micro painting started. I have come such a long way since these guys. My material that I use is totally different. I use pastels now instead of acrylic, but these were still so great to have to look back on to see where I've come from in, with my painting skills. So let me know down in the comments below which of these that I've shown in this video is your favorite. What color would you paint them if you had these resins? I would love to hear that from you. So thank you guys all so much for watching and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you can see more horsey videos. Thank you so much again, you guys, and I will see you next time.